In this short movie, we're going to do some chemistry calculations that involve scientific notation using a calculator on an iPhone. To open this calculator, turn your iPhone so that it is horizontal. This will bring up the extra functions on a scientific calculator. In my calculation, I'm going to try to find the frequency for light that is 600 nanometers in wavelength. In other words, I need to divide 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second by 6 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. And here's how you enter this on your calculator. 3.00 EE, which represents times 10 to the 8. Now you notice if I hit the equals button, it's going to put in that number in its entirety. It's 300 million meters per second. Also, you probably noticed I typed in the zeros even though the calculator does not keep track of those. We track them in chemistry as significant digits because they represent meaning, uh, but your calculator does not. Now I'm going to divide this number by 6 times 10 to the minus 7th, which was the wavelength of my light, divided by 6 EE 7 and I'll change the sign so it's to the negative seventh. When I do that calculation, I get a huge number, which is correct for what we're calculating. We're looking for a frequency, which is very high. And when I write this number, I'm probably going to move the decimal over and call that 5.00 times 10 to the 14th power. Now, let's try another one of these calculations. This time I'm going to try to calculate the energy of light that has a frequency of 2.5 times 10 to the 12th power. To do that, I need to enter 2.5 EE, or times 10 to the 12th power. I'm going to multiply this by Planck's constant times 6.63 EE 34, change the sign, times 10 to the minus 34th. Now when I hit equals, Notice that my calculator spits out this number 1.6575e-21. And just as the EE button represents times 10 to the, in the display, when your calculator shows you E, that's where you're going to write times 10 to the, and then the numbers that follow would be the power for scientific notation. I would have rounded this number then to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 21st. I hope this helps you as you do your calculations for chemistry.